Well, zucchini can be a tasty in-season addition to a variety of dishes. Here's Stephanie Tantillo with your tip of the day. Zucchini is in the squash family. It's sometimes referred to as summer squash. Now this is because although we do see it in the market year round, its peak season is around May to September, sometimes leaning into October, but all that means is right now it's absolutely perfect. Now when you see your zucchini in the market, you want to make sure that it has a nice dark green color to it. You don't really want to see a lot of yellowing. A little bit of light green right here is okay. That's really probably just from the sun where it was exposed and where it wasn't exposed. Make sure you don't see a lot of nicks. It's a little bit delicate. And you want to look for the medium sized zucchinis. You don't want to look for anything too large. You want a medium sized zucchini and about two inches in diameter is absolutely perfect. Now some stores are actually now selling the zucchini blossoms as well. That's great. If you see them, you should snag them up. What you can do with those is you can fry them and you can make zucchini blossoms. They're a very popular treat to have all over Southern Europe and they're really good to have on the table, especially if you have company. Now when it comes to storing regular zucchini like this in a plastic bag in the refrigerator, really four to five days at the absolute maximum. Now the beauty of zucchini is that you can eat it raw. You can make zucchini noodles and prepare it in almost like a favorite pasta style and that way you have a healthy alternative pasta or just saute it up with some thyme and extra virgin olive oil. It's one of my favorite things to make. And I'm Stephanie Tantillo with your produce tip of the day. Yeah, bacon, a little tomato, Parmesan, it's olive zucchini oil. Zucchini boats, <laughs> with some mince meat, some zucchini pasta. We're on board, Stephanie. Opportunities are us. endless there. All right, time now, 726. Up next, the day's top stories. Guns, motorcycles, and a deadly shooting in Jamaica, Queens. I'm Scott Rappaport. I'll have that story this morning. You know what hoarders are, right? Yeah, I'm one. Junk piling up in a New Jersey yard. Neighbors and a town official want it gone. Why the owner says he should be allowed to keep it. This is CBS 2 News Sunday morning. Hey, America, still not sure whether to stay or go to your people? Should I stay or should I go? Well, this summer, stay with Choice Hotels twice and get a $50 gift card you can use for just about anything. Go. You always have a choice. Good. Book now at choicehotels.com. Somewhere in the Caribbean, there are five-star luxury resorts where it's all included, all unlimited, all the time. Sandals, where love is all you need because everything else is included. Call 1-800-SANDALS. Just because your kids are active, just because they're not overweight, doesn't mean sugary drinks aren't doing them damage to their insides. You can't see visceral fat, the dangerous fat too much sugar creates. It builds up inside and wraps around their internal organs, bringing them closer to diabetes, heart disease, fatty liver, even cancer. Sugary drinks are making everybody sick. Keep your kids healthy by giving them water and fresh fruit instead. When we were at Sandals, we forgot about deadlines and worked on our tan lines. We forgot about time and had the time of our lives. We forgot about counting calories and drank to our heart's content. And since everything at Sandals was included, we completely forgot about money and remembered just how in love we really are. Save up to 65%. Call 1-800-SANDALS. If you recently got married, divorced, had a baby, or moved, you may be eligible for health coverage at low or no cost. To connect with a live counselor, text Covered NYC to 877 877. Get covered today. You dreamt of a kitchen to cook with details in every nook. Then I showed you a crack on the wall and found you a house that was a smarter call. Let a Remax agent guide you. Remax, dream with your eyes open. A deadly end to an attempted robbery in Queens. The suspect shot and killed by a correction officer. A wedding interrupted. Several guests injured after a gun goes off at the Waldorf Astoria. And it looks good out there now, but will an approaching storm rain on your parade? CBS 2 News Sunday morning continues right now. Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News This Morning. 
Good morning. Coming up on 7:30 on this Sunday, June 14th, Flag Day. I'm Andrea Grimes, and I'm Diane Macedo. The day's top stories are straight ahead, but first, meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch is here with a look at your forecast. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my husband said, "Hey, do we have plans for you know today?" I'm like, "It's Flag Day. Of course, <laughs> I have plans." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Listen, the forecast is looking pretty good for today. Temperatures are quickly warming up. What we're going to see this afternoon are more clouds and the slightest chance of a shower or storm. But then tonight, we do expect wet weather and some strong stuff to move on through. But the daytime hours for most of us, I think, are okay. I think it's really going to be a nice end to the weekend. 72 right now in the city. It's 61 in Liberty, 68 in Stamford, 72 in Spring Lake. So temperatures are on the upswing here on the Vortex satellite and radar picture. We're looking good, but you note some sprinkles as we look well to the west and to the south. So for today, here is the deal. 9 a.m., 75 degrees. It's feeling like 75. The humidity is not a big impact on your forecast for today. By noon, it's 81 degrees, partly sunny, feeling 81. 3 o'clock this afternoon, 83 will feel like 83. And it's around this time, really after the noon hour, we could start to see some stray showers and storms popping up. Best bet does look to be to the west and to the south of the city. But of course, that doesn't mean we may not see one elsewhere. 6 o'clock tonight at 78, mostly cloudy, feeling 79. Then tonight, after the 9 o'clock hour, we expect some strong, possibly some severe storms. We'll talk about that and an upswing in the humidity coming up in my full forecast. Andrea and Diane, back to you. Vanessa, thank you. Our top story this morning, an attempted armed robbery turned deadly for a man in Queens. Turns out one of the people he was trying to rob was a correction officer. CBS 2 Scott Rappaport has more live from Jamaica. Scott? Good morning. Yeah, it happened here on Rockaway Boulevard and 95th Avenue here in Jamaica, Queens. Here's a look at the scene. Police say an off-duty corrections officer shot a man who was trying to rob him of his motorcycle. We have some videotape. It happened at around 1030 last night. Police say five men were hanging out outside what they describe as a motorcycle social club. That's when cops say the group was approached by a man. He was wearing a multicolored bandana covering his face and carrying a gun. He was demanding the keys to their motorcycle say cops. Police say one of the men in the group, an off-duty corrections officer, shot the suspect twice in the head, killing him. The suspect is described only as a 55-year-old man. Police say they recovered his loaded 380 caliber gun at the scene. No word yet on the identity of the off-duty corrections officer. NYPD sources tell us their investigation right now is ongoing. We're live in Jamaica, Queens this morning. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. Well, the wedding guest has some questions to answer after his gun went off at the legendary Waldorf Astoria Hotel in Midtown, injuring four people. It happened just after 7 o'clock last night in the Park Avenue Hotel's lobby. The bullet hit the lobby floor, then four people were either hit by shrapnel from that bullet or pieces of the floor itself. Those people are expected to be okay. It's not clear if the gun owner will face charges. Surveillance video caught a Brooklyn store worker taking matters into his own hands during a stick-up. Check this out. Cameras captured a man with a gun holding up a store clerk in East New York. As he's leaving, the worker grabbed a machete, ran for the front door, hacked at a rope that was used to prop the door open. He held the door shut with all his might until the suspect fired through the glass of the door. Fortunately, the worker was not hurt. Police are still looking for the robber who got away. And the worker telling his story was, oh yeah, it came very close, right about here, but very <laughs> calm and relaxed. Good thinks he's okay. All right. Well, some New Jersey residents are calling it the junkyard next door. So what can you do when a neighbor's gigantic collection of junk just keeps growing? CBS 2's Lou Young has the story from North Bergen. The old yard on 44th Street in North Bergen is something to behold. We're not talking about a regular mess here. No, we're not. A collection of cars, buses, trailers, each one packed to the roof line with every manner of electric appliance, air conditioner, fan, outdoor grill, and just stuff. I'm a pack rat, you would call that. I, I admit that. 85-year-old Herb Shaw has been fighting to keep his mess intact. The self-proclaimed government watchdog and perennial candidate for office has moved three blocks away from the junkyard in question to another home now also filled with collectibles inside and out. You, you, know, you know what hoarders are, right? Yeah, I'm one. 
You're a hoarder. I told how did mankind begin civilization? He was a hunter-gatherer. Don't you understand that? This gatherer claims he's the victim of corrupt government oppression. The town sees it otherwise, seeking to enforce a fresh court order issued this week. What we want to see is for Mr. Shaw to pay for a private removal team to come in, clean up the mess. The epic mess caught the town's attention eight years ago, right after the house caught fire. Turns out Shaw and his wife, who lived here at the time, had to escape through an upper window because the place was so cluttered. Apparently, there's as much stuff inside as there is out. It's full. It's full. Neighbors all note the mess and would like it clean, but they also are fond of Herb Shaw, who's passionate about wanting to be left alone with his hobby. Look, I'm an old guy. I know you're I'm an old a, guy. Yeah. I'm about to die. But it's a principle of the thing. Shaw says he may appeal to the state Supreme Court. There's no timetable on when the junkyard might be cleared. We're in North Bergen, Hudson County, New Jersey. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. That area of North Bergen is zoned for both homes and businesses, but the town insists Shaw's yard is compatible with neither. Time now, 7.35, coming up, legal marijuana for sale, where the city's first pot shop could soon open. Plus, it could be one of the best views in Manhattan, even from the tub. Coming up, a living large you have to see to believe. I can't wait to see this one. And there's cheating on your spouse, cheating on your taxes. What about cheating at the grocery store? John Montone talks with some people who say they Still break a certain grocery store rule. But first, here's Vanessa Murdoch with your forecast. That's sampling the grapes. I wonder what <laughs> they have to say about that. All right, the forecast is looking pretty good to end the weekend. I'll have details on that and what you can expect during the work week as well coming up but remember rain or shine you can have the forecast anytime with the cbs new york weather app you can also check live radar and send us your pictures and video it's free in the itunes store Hey, America, still not sure whether to stay or go to your people? Should I stay or should I go? Well, this summer, stay with Choice Hotels twice and get a $50 gift card you can use for just about anything. Go. You always have a choice. Book now at choicehotels.com. The world is filled with air. But for people with COPD, sometimes breathing air can be difficult. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about once daily Anoro Ellipta. It helps people with COPD breathe better for a full 24 hours. Anoro Ellipta is the first FDA approved product containing two long acting bronchodilators in one inhaler. Anoro is not for asthma. Anoro contains a type of medicine that increases risk of death in people with asthma. It is not known if this risk is increased in COPD. Anoro won't replace rescue inhalers for sudden COPD symptoms and should not be used more than once a day. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure. Tell your doctor if you have glaucoma, prostate or bladder problems or problems passing urine as Anoro may make these problems worse. Call your doctor right away if you have worsened breathing, chest pain, swelling of your mouth or tongue, problems urinating or eye problems, including vision changes or eye pain while taking a Noro. Nothing can reverse COPD. The world is filled with air, and a Noro is helping people with COPD breathe air better. Get your first prescription free at anoro.com. and a beautiful start 
to this Sunday. We hope you are enjoying it. Welcome back to CBS 2 News Sunday morning. Downtown Brooklyn could soon become home to the city's first medical marijuana store. New York State will grant five companies licenses to operate dispensaries in the state. The stores are part of the Compassionate Care Act passed by Governor Cuomo in July of 2014, which ensures medical marijuana will be available to patients who need it. It is like a pharmacy. It'll be a quiet, secure business, and it'll really help people who need it in the community. This is not this thing that's illegally drugged, that's being rolled up on bamboo, and all of a sudden you're having this weird smell. No, this is a medical process. Government has examined it. It is safe. The state will announce who gets the licenses next month. The dispensaries are expected to then open for business in January of next year. Happening today, competitors will gather in Clifton, New Jersey for the 6th Annual Army Tank Pull Challenge to benefit our wounded warriors. Teams of up to 20 will try to move an 80,000-pound tank mounted on a flatbed truck for 12 feet. In the past five years, the competition has raised more than $760,000 for the wounded warriors. And this is a live picture right now of where it will all go down this morning. It looks calm for now, but in less than two hours, the teams are expected to battle it out. The competition is set to start around 9 o'clock this morning. Last year, Vanessa was out there. She tried to pull the tank. Oh, there it is. It's rolling up there now. You can see it. It, it, it's super tough. Vanessa tried to do it last year with a photographer and a few other people. I don't know if they were even able to move it an inch. You got to move it 12 Nothing, feet. Nothing. We're getting a no nod from Vanessa. Not yeah. even an inch. Maybe there's a backstory. Maybe we'll oh, have to have a, a whole team. They didn't release the break. Time. Oh, they forgot to take yes, the break. They off. did not okay. give us a fair shake. We oh. would have totally rocked it. You need a rematch, I think. I know. All right, we'll work on we it. Definitely didn't. <laughs> all right, thanks, Vanessa. Well, we've all heard of cheating on your spouse, cheating on your diet, even cheating on your taxes. But do you cheat? by bringing more than the items you're allowed to the express line at the grocery store. 1010 10 wins John Montone went on the move to find out. Nah. No. I can't remember ever doing that. You never cheat and have 12 or 13? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn, does your mommy ever cheat on the express line? Yeah. <laughs> she does. I have. Thank you for ratting out mommy. I stick by the rules. Come on. I get angry at people that don't. I've worked on the express lines. If there are a few over, I have no problem with that. Well, I mean, if it's excessive, then I have to well, say What's something. excessive? If it's 10 and 15 and they have maybe 30, 40 items, and it happens. She's got 17 items. Why is she on the line? So oh, people say that? Oh, yeah. We've seen fist fights on the register. Fist fights? Fights on the express line. Yeah. You've heard it here first. You've never cheated on the express. I have three of the same kind. Oh, okay. 14 cans is 14 cans. It's not one item. It's not one item. What do you think the punishment for express line cheating should be? <laughs> Public humiliation. Public <laughs> shame. Shame. Or some light goes off, you know, while they're online. And they come and they, they put you in a little holding cell. In the <laughs> Cheater. You charge them a little extra for the inconvenience. An express line cheating tax. Uh, yeah, why not? From now on, how many items are you going to bring to express? Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> for CBS 2 News, John Montone, 1010 wins. Most items you've ever brought to the express line. Well, how many does it allow? 15. 18, 19. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going up. <laughs> say 20. Just say 20. 20. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I love how it started with, no, I've never done that before. <laughs> the express line at the grocery store in my neighborhood, you can't take a cart in it. And sometimes people try to push oh, the cart. So the express line is how much stuff you, you can, can hold. Put, you can hold or put in the, the basket. Those are the people you want for the tank pull. They've had a lot of training. <laughs> right, that's right. A little upper arm strength. You need right. leg strength for the tank pull. It's all about the leg strength. Oh, right. good. Mm -hmm. tip there. Yep. Mm -hmm. How's yep. the weather looking? Weather's looking good today, especially early this morning. This afternoon, some more clouds, maybe a stray shower or storm, but I really want to emphasize, I don't think you should change your plans. I do think you should oh, keep an eye to the sky if you do have outdoor activities on the agenda today. want to check in with our weather watchers right now because we've gotten a couple of great photos this morning. May make some of us a little bit jealous, but nonetheless, I think they're worth a gander. Take a look at this one sent to us from Walter Cintron. A pot of dolphins. That's nice to see on a Sunday morning, isn't it? And then how about one more shot here from Karen Johnson. She says, hey, I'm just enjoying a cup of coffee along the shore. 
sounds pretty good as well. So my thoughts are head to the beach today, but note it's going to be a little bit cooler, a little less humid than yesterday, but still for most of us in the 80s. Live outside, it is gorgeous out there right now. Partly sunny and 72. We have east-northeast winds at 6 miles per hour. What can you expect for today? It's going to be a day with a mixture of sunshine and clouds with more clouds this afternoon, maybe a stray shower or storm. Best bet for that looks to be west and south of the city. And then as we go through the day, showers and storms arrive overnight. That's going to be the main event for us through the day tomorrow. So around midnight, we could really be under the gun and wet weather is expected to continue tomorrow. Strong storms are possible again tomorrow as well. So we could see that severe weather alert going off over the next 24 hours or so, but not through the daylight hours of today. We really think it's darkness and beyond. On the Vortex satellite and radar picture right now, we've got some clouds passing overhead, yes, but it is still very beautiful. As we widen the view, you can see we have showers to the south, showers to the west. This is all associated with the stationary front, and this stationary front just kind of annoys us over the next couple of days, hanging around, making for an unstable atmosphere, bringing the opportunity for showers and storms. For today, it's a summery Sunday with highs up slightly above seasonable. Most of us in the low 80s, not as sticky as it's been, though. As we go through the day tomorrow, that front lifts a little bit to the north, making for a very stormy Monday for us. And then as we get into Tuesday, a cold front crosses, and as that happens, we're likely going to see a few storms as well. It's not until Wednesday that we take wet weather out of the forecast. For today, 83 degrees, a mix of sunshine and clouds. Uh, it's not as humid as it's been, and there is that slight chance of showers and storms. Tonight, though, expected to be the main event. Strong, possibly severe storms rolling through. Maybe some flooding rains. Flooding rains could impact your morning commute as well. To Tomorrow it's 78 with storms on and off. Tuesday 85, still a chance for storms. Wednesday dry and 82, and then unsettled again through the start of your weekend. Diane, over to you. A new American Red Cross survey shows only 56% of adults who can swim also know how to perform five critical water safety skills, and the number decreases even more when you factor in children. So, being it's National Safety Month, it seemed only appropriate to bring in Rita Goldberg, CEO and founder of the British Swim School, to show us some water survival skills. Rita, thanks so much for coming in. You're very welcome. I'm glad you're highlighting this problem. <laughs> now, your swim school actually pioneered some sort of out-of-the-box swim tips. Why did you go about doing that and how did you go about doing it? Oh my goodness, it's a long time ago, but we realized, I, I taught basically um, in England before mm -hmm. I actually emigrated to America. And in England we didn't start swimming lessons technically until about the age of four to five. And it was great, you know, we taught them to swim and in the normal way, but we were having accident you know the world was getting much more open to people you could go out on more vacations there were more pools and of course there were more drownings and it got younger and younger and I thought well if we're teaching four-year-olds why should we not teach three-year-olds and we did and it was quite successful and then when we started to go to the under threes we realized we couldn't do it in the same way children under three cannot come up for air if they're swimming forward their head weight body weights out of balance so I started to play with it and to work on it and I found that if we taught a reaction of a shoulder turn the children who were going forward instead of coming up to breathe could go on their backs and it became what we do and it became the in my opinion the biggest advance in survival swimming for the very young drowning is silent children fall in and or even adults and go onto their faces. Right, even with adults, I spoke to a lifeguard about this the other day and they were saying that people imagine drowning to be this, you flap around, you make big splashes, you scream, no, no. and it's actually you just very slowly sink yes. under the water. Yes. So what that lifeguard was saying is looking out of all the people splashing around, I look for the people who are silent. Yes, he's very smart and it's not very well known. You're absolutely right. And especially with the child because the child, uh, you know, an adult knows what's happening to them. The child doesn't. And if it hasn't got this ability to roll over, and, and float, it just literally is sucking water and sucking water and cannot make itself heard at all. And of course that then makes it even more necessary to be so vigilant in terms of watching your children. And I know you designed what you call here the water watcher. Now this just looks like a little piece of plastic, but you say this actually can save lives. Explain Without how. Doubt. Well, as we said, drowning is very often silent. And the biggest number of drownings tend to happen around pools with parents or guardians or adults very, very close by. Because of the silence, 
nobody's watching. And everybody thinks that everybody else is watching. Of course. So what we designed is what we call, as you say, our water watchers. These are your designated driving. This is what you, if you are wearing it, are responsible for eyes on the pool, watching the pool. Now, in the middle of your session of watching, you need the bathroom. You hand this over to the next person. It's a, it's a responsibility badge, mm -hmm. so that nobody thinks that somebody else is watching. Everybody knows I'm the one who's watching, Absolutely. or so-and-so is watching, Absolutely. and next it'll be my turn. And, and it's so important, because I think we could cut the drownings enormously by having a water watcher. And so what are your top five safety tips for, for parents, uh, you know, of adults? Adults and children this mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. I think it's vigilance has to be number one. Whatever we do in the way of teaching can always be um, second to parental or adult vigilance. Mm -hmm. The next, in my opinion, is to, to take very very young. Whether you're an adult, you know, get started, or a mom or dad get started with your child very young. It not just teaches the child; it teaches you as a parent. Of course. We, we have rules and we have a pledge on, on the British Swim School website for people to take, which is an awareness. Don't leave the pool area. Don't put um, toys, big toys, around the pool. Be very aware of safety. Put alarms on your doors, fences. If you're a teenager, obey the rules. You know, don't dive into a pool. The number of terrible neck injuries for diving into unknown water when mm. jumping, if the worst happens, would break a leg. But of course, accidents do happen. So I know you brought these mannequins in to show us a few tips of, of how to get yourself and your children out of trouble if you do find yourself right. there. Well, show us a little bit of that. It's not so much out of trouble, but it, the things that we want to do is get you used to getting your child wet okay. and under the water. And one of the things that we do, when a child falls into water, it goes down, but it always comes up. Every adult, child, or anyone in water is full of air. Okay. So they but come first up. you're going to float. Absolutely. But what happens next is the problem. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the child or an adult who is taking in water. Right. And because of the weight of what they're taking in, and the they silence of it, yes. So what we do, when that child goes into water and comes up, we teach a muscle or a, a reaction mm -hmm. where the child turns its shoulder and goes onto its back. Okay. It looks very simple, and it's, it, it, it isn't. It's a form of teaching which is skilled, which is done by our staff who are highly trained to okay. do this. But we know that when we're teaching through the parent, these are the things the parent can do in the holiday time, in the vacation time, or take the child as well. A so, sort of review, oh, that kind of thing. Just practice. And it really isn't that difficult. And the children, if you start young enough, are extremely open to it. You know, babies don't mm -hmm. have fear. And that's the time to start. All right. Well, Rita, thank you so much. Those are so, such great tips. For more information on the British Swim School, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back. Meet Kyle. You name it. Dust, pollen. And pet dander. He's allergic to it. Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service to be certified asthma and allergy friendly, eliminating an average of 94% of common household allergens like dust, pollen, and pet dander for a cleaner, healthier home. Goodbye, Mr. Steamer. Bye, Kyle. Call now about our $99 carpet cleaning special. Call Who's responsible for this? If something goes wrong, you find a scapegoat. Rick. It's what you do. Woo! What'd you say? Uh-oh. -uh. Kelly. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. Rick, don't walk away from me. Woo! With CBS All Access, you can watch CBS 2 News live and watch more of your favorite CBS shows on demand across computers, tablets, and smartphones. Go to cbs.com slash all access now to try it for free. Thanks for coming to movie night. Yeah, of course. So fun. So fun, right? Yeah. I'm going to go check. Okay. Oh. Well, we're all the way up to 4%. It's great. Yeah. 
I could do this all night. I'm just, I'm just gonna go check again. Leave slow downloads behind. 100% fiber optics is here. Get out of the past. Get Fios. Now for $89.99 a month at Verizon.com slash Fios. Rashida? I smoked when I was a medical student, looking after people whose cigarettes had made ill. I was a doctor in training uh, before I finally stopped smoking cigarettes. Many smokers like to say I smoke because it relaxes me, or I smoke because it's a way that I socialize with my friends. But of course, I smoked because I was addicted. At the time, I said to myself, if you're gonna stop, well, today's a good day to stop. This morning's Living Large, we go inside a Manhattan penthouse with breathtaking views of the city skyline. The apartment also has five bedrooms and a high-tech kitchen. CBS 2's Emily Smith takes us to Chelsea. Completed in 1929, Walker Tower has a painstakingly restored facade. Notice the Art Deco ornamentation that architect Ralph Walker made famous in the 20th century. We are taking the elevator to the top. This is it. This is it. It's penthouse one. You've got your private landing, uh, three elevators that lead you into your entry hallway. Sotheby's Kamali Chandler showed us around. We've got all this beautiful wood paneling, so that sense of grandeur is here from the moment you step off the elevator. This is probably one of the best rooms in the home, if not the building. So you're on the 24th floor. From this room, you have terrace access facing south, showing water views and others to the east. The ceiling soar 13 feet high with a coffered effect. The developer left some of the original details as a tribute, of course, to, uh, to Mr. Walker. A study has a wood-burning fireplace and views to the south and north out of large picture windows. Almost like an infinity pool because of this edge, and it, it sometimes takes some getting used to. I love but it. I love it. The master bathroom has a stainless steel soaking tub facing the terrace. The walls are all Calcutta honed marble. It's a place you may never want to leave. The master bedroom's one of five spacious, quiet retreats. Well, it's good, right? Well, you have to get back to work, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Finally, the nucleus of this home, the kitchen. It's all zebra wood and limestone mixed with luxurious marble to create a zen feel. You have a giant refrigerator and more. Just in case. You've got your additional Sub-Zero stocked with wine. <laughs> so how much does it cost to live large here? $70 million, that's all. $70 million. <laughs> that's Living Large in Walker Tower. Start saving. Wow. But don't take a bath if you have guests on the terrace, so that could get really awkward. <laughs> Good. Time now is 7.56. Still to come, is political correctness taking all of the fun out of comedy? What one comedy great is saying about the topic. But first, we'll check the day's top stories and Vanessa Murdoch's forecast ahead when CBS 2 News Sunday morning continues at 8. This is how we, we snap it. We stack it. We smush it. We love it. Hershey's makes it a s'more. You make it special. Hershey's is mine. Yours. Our chocolate. Worried about high interest rates, fees, and penalties? Make your worries disappear with a Visa card from MCU. With low interest rates and no penalty rate increases for a late payment, you can finally go to that nice restaurant, buy her that special gift, and afford those airline tickets. Great rates, no worries. The worry-free Visa card from MCU. Apply today. Municipal Credit Union. 